Hey, hey, it's 13 here, and this video is going to be how I made these. Actually, well, it's going to be a speed video through. It actually took me about two and a half hours to make these, and I have the footage all recorded, and um, I've just made it sped up a lot. But I will be doing narration over it hopefully if my laptop allows it anyway I will probably catch you at the end of the video all right so first thing I did was drawing out the pattern of the ear that I was making um they were originally going to be rabbit ears but I eventually changed it a bit to make it um so they're wolf rabbit ears so they look like they would have been a wolf's ear but they are a bit bigger um you're going to need foam scissors box cutters needle thread um a template i used a board naturally you're going to um need pins and fur obviously um so once it was all cut out, oh, and you're also going to need a regular sort of headband. I would recommend ones that um, have like the belt or like fabric casing around it because it makes it a lot easier to attach the um, ears to it. But a plastic one will work fine, but you'll just need hot glue in order to um, attach it to the actual headband. Although with, if you completely sew it on, they are a lot more sturdy and it's less likely for it to come undone. Alright, so now that I've had all the um, foam cut out, I'm starting to trace the pattern onto the fabric, which I leave a um, bit of um, a seam allowance because um, I make it into like a pocket. As you see, I actually... Um, accidentally did two of the same ears so I've just gotten the other ear and I've done two for the backing and right now I'm just making the um, part for the inside of the ear and I'm just testing it to make sure it's the right size and um if you're using a darker fabric I would recommend using a lighter marker in order to move, make the patterning um and Obviously, for lighter, you use a um, color that will sh you use a color that will show up on the back of the fabric. Um, and also be careful with um fur because um when you cut it, it's all done. Um, now I'm cutting out the um purple fur for the um part that's on the inner ear, and uh, just cutting that out. Um, if you see me like reaching out towards the um, camera, it's because I either am changing the video that I, the videos that I was listening to, or um, you can only record so much um, before it stops, and then you have to record a second part of it. So I had to do that a lot. And now I am just sewing the inner ear to the outer part. Um. And I don't often use my sewing machine unless it's something that I absolutely have to do. Otherwise, I do prefer to use hand sewing because I know I can make it sturdy and I know where a stitch would pull out if I did. Right now, just sewing, sewing. Just had to find something. Um, at this point, I think I had to... um get out, like actually stop the video and um, go do things because I had to make dinner for my brother. Um, as you can see, I have made a pocket um, for the um, foam piece and I'm just sewing it onto the headband now.
I would have done it on my new camera, but um, I didn't. I was unable to get the right angle, so I'm just doing it on my laptop. Also, I'm really hoping that my laptop is catching all of this because um, it's like that. And um, as you can see, I am cutting bits of fur because um, the fur is a bit too long and covered most of the purple fabric. So I cut the fur that was on the very bottom just to thin it out so you could see more of it. <sighs> yep. So on, so on, so on. This is all so fun. <laughs> Just another jump. Um, when you're sewing, you want to make sure that um, every few um, every so often that you um put a knot in it so that way if you do keep going and you accidentally get to a point where you can't do a knot there is the anchor or if the thread snaps now uh, what else um so far not too much different here And I've just finished the second pocket and I'm just brushing it out to get all the things out. And um, as you can see there, I'm actually um, making it so one ear is like half bent over and I'm just making sure how that's working. As you can probably see, like I'm fiddling a lot with it. There are a lot of points where um the um knot wouldn't be big enough so it just pulled straight through. And it was at this point where um I had lost the white the reel of white cotton thread that I was using, so I had to grab the one that was on my sewing machine, which is black. Uh... So just brushing it out and as you can see it is um, fully bent into the way that I liked it. And now just so 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 sewing it onto the headband. And um, that was pretty much um, how I was gonna keep it. I was pretty confident of it. And um well that um, still sewing. I always had to be careful of the um fur because it kept sort of getting in the way and um as you'll see I have my big um slicker brush which I use to um get the fur out of all the stitches. And um, as you can see, um, I decided to add a bit to it because um, they weren't sitting properly on my head. They sort of like folded down. So I had to add a bit, a few more stitches. As you can see, I showed how you do it. You put it through the foam and then through the fabricate band. And then... It got to how it was... Now, alright, so that was that. Um, I know my narration, there are parts where it will be long pauses or um, a bit jumpy, but um, I accidentally did a bit um, of a longer narration so it didn't match up properly with the video 
So I had to edit that down a little bit and try to make it match the what I was saying at what points. Um, I am going to say that um these that I will be um putting these ears. These are frabbit. Yeah, just well. You can't really mix rabbit and wolf. Wait. Wolbit. Sure. These Wolbit ears. Um. And I will be selling these for, um. Uh, two and a half hours plus the materials. Um. I'd say I'd. S these. I'm going to be putting up for about somewhere between $35 um, dollars and, or um, so 35 to 50 Australian dollars. So um, you can um, find good um, cash converters on um, the internet to find out how much um, is in your currency but um you can contact me um, down below um, with any of the um, things that are in the description personally I would prefer either email my amino or twitter so any of those three are like sure to get a fairly quick response um whereas like the others it's very less likely that um i will be getting those notifications really quickly so um if you try to contact me through those it may take a little while for me to get back to you um, uh, also, if you want me to, um, do any other sort of, like, um, fast-forward, um, tutorial thingies, just, um, leave them in the comments, because I can do it for, um, like, how I do patternings for my tails, or, um, basically, basic designs, or, like, speed drawings or anything of that sort it will probably be a lot more fun for me for like maybe a weekly video to do a speed video or something like that uh what else um oh yeah um like for these it will be me or if you want to see me maybe try to do like a different um like song video like i can try to get a new song written or if you want me to do a cover uh something along those lines anyway if you have anything you would like to ask or say leave them in the comments everything you can get me by is in the description box below and I, um, oh, like and subscribe, yeah, yeah, like and subscribe if you so much desire, um, hit the little bell to be part of the notification squad, and if you see any ads on my videos, yes, I have, um, decided to try, um, doing some monetizations on my videos like it goes back to all of my videos so um for like commissions and all that or pre-mades i can use any of that money that i get from that to go out and buy the materials in order to do so uh, i believe that is all i really have for this video but um I will say, an hour and a half, two hour, two and a half hours worth of footage being done in under like, 
like in under 15 minutes that's pretty good I had to look up a tutorial on how to um speed things up on um movie maker so that's what I had to do and to figure that out I had no idea um either way I love you all and I will see everyone tomorrow. Later!